This is part two of the smart mirror video that I published a couple of weeks ago. This part focuses on how I actually build the mirror. If you have not seen part one, you can check it out at the end of this video or in the link at the bottom. A quick disclaimer though, this is not a quick cheap DIY project. If you don't have a monitor that you can afford tearing apart and an extra Raspberry Pi, this can cost upwards $300. In my case, I already have a monitor and a Raspberry Pi that's not being used. I basically started by stripping down this LCD monitor by getting rid of the frame and the base. Next, I took the exact measurements of the LCD screen and got a picture frame with glass from a local store. Then I ordered this acrylic see-through mirror from Amazon. This is the most affordable option. You can get professional grade two-way mirror but that option can be quite expensive. Just an FYI, if you decide to go with the acrylic see-through mirror, you really need to be extremely gentle with it. Any small touch can strip off the coating applied to it. I feel like an ant on high heels can scratch it if it walks on it. So after removing the frame backing and all the stuff that I don't need, I went ahead and cleaned the frame edges, removed all the cardboard debris and gave the glass a good clean up. One more time, I am going to ensure that the screen fits inside the frame while allowing some space on the edges for the support frame hardwood boards that I am going to glue to the back of the frame. So I went ahead and cut them to the proper length and made sure they fit. The type of hardwood you use is up to you. I like to pick something that I can stain or paint to match the frame. As far as the width, you simply need to make sure that it provides enough depth so both the LCD screen and the Raspberry Pi can fit. Now that I know everything will fit, I pre-drilled some holes in the two long boards and screwed them together. And once again, I made sure that everything is exactly how I want it. After painting it, I am using this Fuse It All Surfaces liquid nails to glue the boards to the frame. But first I need to glue the glass to the frame. This is an important step. You need to secure the glass in place, otherwise it becomes such an annoyance that it will keep falling off or rubbing against the acrylic mirror. So I applied a small amount of adhesive to the area where the glass sits and I allowed it about 2 hours to dry before moving to the next step. As you can see here, I moved it next to the window to expose it to sunlight to help the adhesive to dry a little faster, but mainly to make sure the glass is super clean. The next step was applying adhesive to the area where the support frame will sit. The adhesive holds within minutes, but to fully cure it takes 24 hours. I'm not sure if you noticed that I already placed the acrylic mirror on the glass. I apologize I missed recording that step, but all I had to do is clean the glass using a glass cleaner and slowly place the acrylic mirror on top of it. One word of advice, you need to keep the protective plastic film on the acrylic mirror until you get to this point. I wish I knew not to do that when I got it, but I got too excited and removed it. So overnight it collected some dust and a droplet of water. And when I tried to wipe it off, it left a mark on the screen. Like I said earlier, this thing is very delicate, so keep it sealed and only remove the film when you are ready to lay it on the glass. To prevent the acrylic mirror from shifting inside the frame, I applied the adhesive to the edges. Then I placed the support frame on top, put some weights on it and let it dry overnight. The next day I placed the LCD screen inside the frame and secured it in place using this board. Then I connected all the cables to the Raspberry Pi. Depending on the depth of the frame, 
you may need to use this HDMI 90 degrees L-shaped connector male to female adapter. Last thing I had to do is use some velcro strips to secure the Pi behind the screen, connect to power, place it on the wall, and just like that I have a smart mirror. I hope this gave you some ideas, let me know what you think, as always thank you for watching, catch you next time.